This screencast will demonstrate how to adjust settings of an embedded video in a Google slide. I have my slide right here. I would like my video to be inserted into this space. So I'm going to go insert video. I already have, I've already typed in my search criteria. Of course, if I wanted I could actually paste in the uh, address to the video if I found the video uh, on YouTube itself. So this is the one I want. Select that. Now notice that when it came up it had format options pop up over here. If you don't see format options you can right click on your video and come to format options. Okay, so right now it is showing me a preview of the video as it will be seen in the slideshow. I want to have it start a little bit later. So let's try 10 seconds in and see what that looks like. It's a little too far in for me, so I'm going to roll back here. So let's say I want that to be five seconds instead. Five seconds for the start. I can also set the end of the video if I wanted it. If I didn't want the entire video to play, I could set that. I can set it to play when it is clicked during presentation, or I could have it play automatically or play manually. I'm going to leave it on click you do have the option to mute the audio if you desire. Okay, I'm going to, that's already set. There's no save button. I'm going to collapse that to show you size and rotation. So if I want this to be a particular size, I can set it by actual measurements. I can also do it by a percentage. And I can always go in the old-fashioned way and just drag the handles to resize. Um, if you want to resize and not stretch the video, you will want to click Lock, Aspect Ratio. And then that way, any changes I make stay proportional. So as I increase this amount, it increases the height along with the width. I'm going to put that back down to 100 because I don't really need to re resize this. And so I'll collapse that one. The position. You can set where you want things to be adjusted from. So if I say I want to adjust it from the top left, then I can do this just to kind of get it where I want it on my slide without having to um, click and drag and kind of guess where it's going to end up. So this is uh, the position and I can even do a neat little drop shadow. Right now you can't tell the drop shadow is there so I'm going to increase the distance so that you can see. You see how it's starting to show there. You can choose the angle that it is falling, that the shadow falls, the angle that the shadow falls. So I'll set that. Um, you can set transparency on it. You can set your color. So if for some reason you wanted a purple drop shadow, you could do that. Put mine back to gray. And you can also blur the radius. So you see how it's just kind of blurring that drop shadow. And those are the settings that you can set for videos in a slide. I do want to point out that this playback time, it will only start at that preset playback time from either presentation or if I publish it to web. 
if I'm putting this in as a resource for either professional learning or for uh, learning with students, I could publish to the web and then embed that. And that looks like this. I'm going to click publish to web. Um, you can set how how fast you want it to change slides. It doesn't really matter in this case because um, I only have the one slide. And then I would use the embed code and just copy that. And then we can use that uh, to embed in our web page or our blend page.